Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today I am looking at the X-Men by Jonathan Hickman omnibus with the direct market cover which is from the Emma and uh, Jean Grey show I mean one shot uh, <laughs> and um, I like how this is laid out with the direct market cover there and then this bit up here looks very very cool and if I turn it to the side we've got pretty much pure red and then all the way down there with Hickman there and then on the side we've got a little quote from Cyclops a little synthesis there and by Jonathan Hickman and all the other folk and this collects X-Men 1 to 12 and 16 to 21 then giant size X-Men Jean Grey and Emma Frost 1 Nightcrawler 1, Magneto 1, Phantom X 1, Storm 1. Now, I know it's going to sound weird, but considering we're getting hard covers of everything else with 1 to 12, I felt like this... I know it sounds weird. You, listen to me. It is weird, what I'm about to say. I would have added the Fallen Angels little five-issue series in this because... I cannot see that getting a hardcover release at all. Yeah, I know. Absolutely bonkers. What are you thinking? Do you even read X-Men? <laughs> um, yeah, absolutely bizarre. So let's take the dust cover off. And then underneath we've got this whole X-Men thing going around. Pretty straightforward. And then under here we've got the creators. And then after the dawn comes the rain. Which is interesting. So that's just saying that because it was Dawn of X. And then it's saying that it it is the rain effect. So it has those two sections in there. So let's um, have a little butchers inside, eh? Have a little butchers inside. Now don't get me wrong. There were um, some elements of this run that I do actually enjoy. And I probably will actually like looking back at it. Um, and you've got all the different artists that go alongside this collection as well. Now, I guess the Giant Size X-Men issues are in here because Jonathan Hickman wrote them. Because I thought, actually, it's odd that they're in there. But once again, I thought, well, where else would they go? So we begin with... Oh, let's go back one. This little section here. Oh, okay, that's just a little... Yeah, I remember, okay. It's been a while since I've read this. So, I like this, how they've done this, and I like how they've done this. That looks pretty cool. So, there are stories in here throughout. Um, my my thing with this... but I've got a couple of gripes with this. A, Jonathan Hickman took the glory over his writing. So... In my mind, and don't get me wrong, I love what Jerry Dugan is doing right now, but his X-Men run, 20 issues? Ridiculously short. Ridiculously short. Don't get me wrong, you've got the House of X, Powers of X, and then the X of Swords in between, uh, and what, Hellfire Gala, which is actually... Wait a minute. 21. One second, people. I'm really sorry. I'm doing weird stuff here. Doing weird stuff here. X-Men 21. Okay. So, weird thing is, even though we got a Hellfire X-Men Hellfire Gala book, they've decided to put 21 in here. Now, if you was doing this omnibus as a whole, I know the, the in-between issues are in X of Swords, but wouldn't you just put them in here? Now, more importantly, more importantly, my biggest... So, yeah, so Jonathan Hickman took on that bigger job. He should have carried on writing this, and I thought it was going to be a bigger story. In reality, that story is continuing. Let's be honest, it's still continuing. This new era um, with, in other people's capable hands. But in my mind, I felt like there was meant to be more for this, more wow factor. But it just, from the brilliance of how it started, it sort of... Almost didn't go anywhere, but I like it. I do like it. My other gripe is how I would have seen this on how this would have been 
the better omnibus would have been if it had House of X, Powers of X at the beginning, X of Swords in the middle, and then the X-Men issues in between, and finished with the Hellfire Gala. Now that would have been, in my mind, a fantastic, fantastic omnibus for us to read, or some somebody coming in from the outside saying, hey, I want to read Jonathan Hickman's whole run. And I also would have added in Inferno after Hellfire Gala. Because if we're being honest with you, that's where I feel Hickman ties up uh, a lot of his mysterious ways, should we say. But is this... I sometimes ask myself, has Hickman rejuvenated the X-Men as I imagined it? In some ways, yeah, I think he does. In some ways, I say no, he doesn't. Because I feel like he... He doesn't finish what he started. He hasn't finished what he started. Now, that doesn't mean that he isn't finishing what he started. In the background, um, telling his writers, giving his writers the direction that they need to go create the stories that they create. That doesn't mean that that's happening. But um, I just found it a little bit weird. Wait a minute. Oh, no, that's the prelude. That's the prelude. Yeah, sorry. That is a prelude. Is that a prelude? Am I going mad? 1 to 12. 13, 14, 15. Oh, okay. Right, give me a second. I will get some other books out and we will have a look at this because that just threw me completely. Um, but yeah, there are moments in this where I thought, whoa, that was brilliant. And there are some moments where I think, mm, yeah, I love this bit. I love Darwin. Not that one. Sorry, I love Cinchin Wolverine. Um, if you're reading my individual reviews, you will know that I'm rooting for those kids to sort themselves out and have a relationship. This was probably one of the highlights of the series, in all honesty. Um, then there's the Hellfire Gallery issue. So, yeah, a little bit bizarre. A little bit bizarre. So you got some other covers. Which is great. Variants. Love it. Love it. Which is great. Now, in my mind, I guess one of my other biggest gripes is... Wait for it. This is my other issue that I have. Because now, now we have... This is Volume 1 of Excalibur, for example. This takes you all the way up to X-Swords. Makes perfect sense. I almost wish they had done a mini omnibus of Excalibur, for example. I'm not sure how Excalibur is done after Hellfire Galaxy. I haven't got that far. Um, however, my that's my biggest thing. My other biggest thing is X of Swords sort of sits in the middle of this, which is really bizarre. And then you've got Hellfire Galaxy, which is literally at the end, but it's actually included in that. So... I almost feel like they should have just included the issues. I know it would have looked weird reading it from without the other stories. Or they could have just done simply. They should have just done this. That. And just made a very nice resized. Um, I don't know. X-Men. Dawn of X. Or. Taking that, that, and that, and put that together, and just left that outside, or put it all in there, and add in Inferno at the end. Um, I know I'm being very ambitious, um, considering there is actually quite a lot of issues in here, and I know we've taken out those odd issues, which probably don't, uh, in my mind, and I can't remember if I've read them, I don't think they affect the main X-Men line completely, so it's it's an in in interesting omnibus however um it is in a way still good business sense because you you say hickman's omnibus people are interested hell i want to read fantastic for hickman's run for some reason i don't even know why i don't even really in some ways i don't really actually 
In some ways I like this, in some ways I don't like this. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted. Um, anyway, um, other than that, I am very, very happy to have this omnibus in my collection. I just feel like, like it could have been mapped a little bit better, but it looks gorgeous. Looks gorgeous, and we're still getting the other oversized hardcovers. In fact, I think I've got three that are due to arrive in the next few weeks, so look out for those reviews. Um, if you like my channel, I'd appreciate you subscribing. Um, make sure you look up yourself, very important. And as always, breast geekiness. Take care, goodbye.